What's up guys and girls, it's one Spirit and back on GTA 5 and I'm bringing another tutorial on Heist. Today I'm with Unearth 18, Godfather and Bradolini. Today we are doing a human raid uh, Valkyrie, so we are going to get the helicopter uh, so we can do the mission for the human raid lab. So what you want to do is just mark your way to the helicopter and then go over there. Uh, this mission is not that hard, well the first part is not very hard, so you shouldn't find it very difficult. You don't ha need people with the mics for this too much, so it'll be fun. Uh, over here we are just waiting for our people to catch us up, and then uh, we moved forward to clear out the guards which been carrying the helicopter. So. Once everyone catch, uh, catch up with you, uh, you, what you want to do is just go over here to the back left corner and then shoot people which are on the other side of the road. You will be having like, I don't know, one or two cars coming for you so just take them down. And also we will be having a helicopter, like the battle helicopter coming for you so make sure you have a guy with a mini gun or a launcher to take it down. And I will suggest you doing it quickly because uh, but the helicopter will shoot the rockets at you and then you will die straight away. So, you can move forward the cars or you can run. Uh, virus, uh, like I decided with virus to go in the car at the beginning here, but then we've seen lots of security shooting at us. Uh, you don't really need to shoot them, but we decided to do it to get more RP to level up faster. But you don't really need to do that, you can just drive over to the helicopter, so yeah. I don't know why, but when I always get out the Unrest 18's car, I always get knocked over. I don't know if it's his connection or something, but uh, I'm not really sure. So once you clear the uh, way, uh, you can move forward. I don't know what what's going on there. And also make sure that the other people don't run you over, because you don't want to just die just because someone ran you over. So that would be just uh, a stupid mistake. And then you just want to move forward. If you're not too good at shooting people and they're uh, shooting at you really badly, uh, just take cover. You have lots of things to take cover behind, so it'll be fine. So what happened to me, the guy with the SUV rammed into the uh, Zentorno and then knocked me over. So be careful that you don't get knocked over as well and they will not kill you. Also watch out for... Uh, like watch your surroundings so there are no explosive tanks around you because if the enemy will shoot it or your teammates uh, you will blow up and die and then you will have to restart the missions again so uh, it's just kind of sometimes complicated because you need to look around and know what is going on around you and also you need to take down the guys which are shooting at you so sometimes it can be tricky I took right hand side uh, because I was uh, just clearing out the right hand side but there was no one there so I moved to the left. So if you want to split up like one team or like we'll take right hand side with one team left so you can do that but everyone is on the left hand side. So how you can see you have lots of boxes here so you can take cover behind every single one of them. Uh, so you shouldn't have any problem getting to the helicopter uh, without dying. And also I will, will uh, suggest not shooting the helicopter as it might take more damage and then you will uh, fail the mission. So be careful around the helicopter uh, what weapons you are using so you don't blow it up. So once we decided who is going to be which, uh, on which gun, uh, we started the mission, like the second part. Uh, you will have five helicopters coming for you. I'm not sure if I'm coming right but I think it is. Uh, the nearest one on the, on the beginning will be on your left. So go over to your left and take it down. Uh, what I would suggest to do is make sure that the front gunner can shoot the helicopters because he got the most powerful weapon by short to medium range so you can't shoot for long range. So always make sure that when, the, for example, a helicopter is on the left, you are still m making the front gunner available to shoot it. So just always make the helicopter pointing towards the helicopter you are shooting. Uh, you will have 
two battle helicopters coming for you so be careful about the missiles this helicopter can take only one missile hit and then the second one will kill you so if you get hit by one missile then you seriously need to be careful that the second missile will not hit you uh, and then you will be having another helicopter coming from your right hand side uh, and so what you just want to do is just shoot them uh, if it's a battle helicopter you want to keep your distance because uh, you will have a longer warning uh, that the missile is coming for you if you are too close uh, the battle helicopter will shoot you straight away and you will not have any warning so I was kind of lucky here uh, I went too close and then it dodged, uh, dodged the other and then the second one hit me because I was looking at the helicopter so don't uh, change the view just keep looking forward and if the guy has a helicopter he can tell you uh, where the helicopter is and if he wants you to go higher or lower so once you're done now you want to move forward to the last two helicopters and then take them down uh, this one will be flying pretty low so when you want to descend pretty um, like a lot and then when you go down a lot like down low like if it's enough then you can shoot it uh, here I think I used the front gunner as well so we took him down like really quickly and I seriously dodged this missile, I was so lucky because that was the second missile that would kill me. So always make sure that you're spinning around when you hear the missile coming for you, so the missile doesn't hit you. And this is the last helicopter and that will be it. We are doing on hard, so I don't know if that makes any difference when it's on hard. I know that it gives you more money, but difficulty wise, I don't really know uh, how much difficult it is. Uh, I think on normal... Maybe you'll take less damage when they're shooting you, but I have no clue, but we are always doing it on hard so we get more money. Uh, also when you do the actual heist or the finishing missions um, and where you can set the money how much you want, if you do it on hard you will get extra 250,000, so extra money doesn't hurt and if you have a good team you can do it on hard, so that's what I would suggest. And then you will just land the helicopter. I think Godfather or some one of my uh, team told me that there will be more helicopter ca the helicopters coming, but there are not, so you can just land it straight away. So over here I went through the smoke, so I couldn't really see it when I was landing, so I had to um, land it here and then turn around. And once you land it, that's it, guys. Uh, this mission is fairly simple. Uh, all you just have to be careful about is the buzzed helicopters. You only have uh, well three all together. One at the beginning where you get to the uh, harbor, and then two in the air, and that's it. Okay, we got it from here. Alright, so you will not get any money again because you are the host, but the other teammates will get like 20 to 25,000 depending on uh, what difficulty it is. So yeah, this is kind of easy mission, so you shouldn't have any problems with it. Alright, moving to the second one, uh, we are with Bradolini, uh, Mini Kane and Konigman. So, we are delivering the EMP. Uh, so this kind of is fairly simple at the beginning because at the beginning what you want to do is just drive the cars. So you will go to the to pick up the insurgents and with the insurgents then you will go to the human lab. So it's fairly simple. So I'm going to skip this forward driving again. And so now we are here next to the insurgents. Uh, it doesn't really matter who drives because we've been like fighting over like who's going to drive because before we're gonna have like different roles whoever is driving uh, no one is having different roles yeah having all the same it really will uh, make it, like different roles it will be you setting it because what we did we split up into two so I will go into details with that in a minute so once we go in the car uh, and stop arguing who's going to drive uh, we just drive over to the human labs and all that's it. You see the EMP in the trunk. That's our the 
Alright, so once you get to the human labs, you want to do what, what you want to go to the left, so you will activate the scene again. Uh, you will go uh, look at the CCTV cameras. We didn't really look at them properly uh, because you will have the soldiers or the uh, security guards on a mini map. So we just glanced through the CCTV cameras, but that was kind of a mistake. Uh, I would suggest you look into it in detail so you know exactly where they are. Uh, so once you have done that, looked at the CCD cameras, um, then you want to split up into twos and have uh, all people should have sound snipers and then I will show you where you need to go. So we're just looking at them quickly here, uh, where the security are. Alright, so you have two people going on the left hand side and two people on the right. So I took the right hand side. Uh, you want to like a hide car uh, from the car that will be coming out of human labs uh, with the guards. If they will spot you, then you'll uh, alert the alarm and then people will start shooting you and you will fail the mission. Over here I was like really tactical, like shut the door so the light wouldn't be on in the car. It doesn't really matter. Uh, all you need to do is just hide from the car. Uh, all I did is shot this guard at the top. Uh, this uh, this is the guy you want to shoot, but make sure that the car passes first so you don't drop him while the car is looking at him. And after the car is out, then you want to move uh, inside. So the, on the left hand side, they've been moving inside uh, the lab, so just be careful when you're going inside there that you don't get spotted. So always keep on your left hand side. And then you just move down if you're on the right hand side. Uh, the other guy which was with me, he didn't have a mic, so we that was be a little bit complicated. Uh, so we didn't know what we were doing together. So this part will be a little bit challenging. You need to find a right spot where you can shoot the guards. So you have two guards uh, next to this car which is right in front of me. But how you can see I have a fence in front of me so I had to move down. And once you can see the guards, uh, you can shoot them. This guy pushed me over, so then I couldn't see, and then when I was moving up, he started shooting at them, so... He was kind of lucky that I didn't alert the other guys, uh, because he missed his shot, and so that was pretty lucky. And after you shoot those two guards, you want to shoot the other guard on the far right side. And then you have two scientists, you can drop them with the guy which is right next to you, or... Uh, you can wait for the guy which is at the back. Uh, I dropped him uh, with the guy which was at the back because he had the mic, so it was easier. Once you drop them, there will be like two left at the back uh, of the lab. So you will let the other two teammates do it, and while you and the other guy will take the insurgent, and then you will drive over to the lab. Uh, so it's not that difficult if you have guys with the mics, um, and you know what you're doing, and you know who you're shooting. So, once you get in the car, you just want to go to the garage and then the people, well the other two teammates will uh, hack it and open the garage door for you. Uh, you will not have any more guards coming for you, this will be it. Once you shoot those security guards, uh, it will be in the clear. So you, w But you need to be careful about the timer, so you need to uh, hack it quickly, because then you will need to escape from the lab and you can't get in the cars, all the cars are locked so you have to run and it's kind of a long way, you have to run across the entire hill and then down uh, so we thought we might be having more security coming for us so we've been like running around the car with the guns just in case, but you will not have any more people but you can stay outside in case you don't kill someone and he will just come out another way uh, but pff, I, I think that will not happen, only if like glitches out for you or something so, uh, yeah, once you open the door, you just want to deliver it. Uh, I don't know what this guy was doing on top of my car. Uh, so, yeah. All right, the malware's installed. Pull out. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. What you want to do from here is just run away and you'll be done. So it's not really difficult. None of these heist missions are difficult. Only if you're doing it first time and you have no clue what you're doing and just looking at the mission. What am I supposed to do here? Uh, then it is difficult, but once you know what you're doing, you can do it straight away within like 4-5 or five minutes. So, the missions are not that hard. So... 
This is gonna be long run over here. Uh, what we did, we took right hand side, so we ran the hills on the right hand side. So I would suggest you do the same as with Danny, and we know that it works. So just run up this hill, and then uh, you will run down. So I will cut this running bit and come back to you when we are done. All right. So once you get to this point. Uh, or just keep running and you will get to this point and it will be fine. Then you will have like seen that more guards are coming in by all being clear, so don't worry. I hope you liked it guys, if you did hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do for more of GTA 5 videos. So thank you guys for watching and peace out.